Hey guys, Dang Old Nerd here. It's about seven, a little bit after seven, Saturday morning. Just starting my day. Had uh, had my breakfast and my coffee. Uh, I thought I'd put out the flags this morning. I don't put them out every day. Just usually on the weekends um, when I'm home. And then during the week, I usually leave the house pretty early, like four by 4.30 a.m. and then don't come back until 3 o'clock or after. So I usually don't put them out during the weekday. And I try to vary it once in a while. I'll kind of change it up just so people don't... <laughs> so I'm not signaling to everybody in the neighborhood when I'm not home. So when I go to Taiwan, I'll have my friend Guy come over and he'll, he'll do it once in a while. So, so I spent uh, all night last night going through my... DJI, Os DJI Osmo Action 3 cam, Action 3 cam, and the, the mounting kit. So I have pretty much all the devices that I plan to use. I kind of set it up down here at the bottom and then all the other extra stuff that I probably will never use goes into this netting. And then you gotta figure out a way to keep it all in there but it's it's a nice little semi hard case and then so everything kind of falls out but um yeah it's it's inside the the little frame i don't know the whole purpose of that i think it you know i think they only did it just so you could have this vertical mount because the camera only has the, the horizontal mount on the bottom it's magnetic and it has some clips but uh, this little frame has magnet and a, and a mount, so you can mount it vertically. I think that's the only purpose for this. I think it's good just to have and you know give, offer extra extra protection if you should you know drop it off a off a hill or something. So it just the camera just slips right in and out. So the camera has the power button here, and this is like if you wanted to plug in um, whatever some USB cable type C this is the battery side and the the um, what is that called the memory card the SD card so the battery is in here and the SD card is in there and then but the frame itself it doesn't really offer anything except for that magnet on on the vertical side but um I think it's good to just ha offer extra protection. So leave it like that. Um, let's see. I have I have it set up right now for the things that I plan to use. This is for the car car dash, um, the windshield, and then I have the magnetic mount set up here. So I I'm thinking I probably need to buy a few more of these magnets because it's. You, you know, I think it's more convenient just to leave it on there and then just attach my camera to it. Uh, it only goes a certain way, I guess. Attach my cam and then otherwise you have to unscrew it. But when, like when, when I get to my destination, I'm not going to leave this hanging on my car. So I would just uh, push these buttons, pop it off and take it with me. I just messed up my camera here. It says screen locked. I think I pushed the, pushed the wrong button. Okay. So yeah, that's one thing about the camera. It's got this power button on the side. You press that. And then it takes a while for the camera to power up, but now it's ready. And then when you want to record, you push the top button here or Let's see, you gotta, I guess, hold. Now it's powering off. And then if you're just kind of walking around, this could be like a dash cam. <laughs> I mean, a body cam. Like if, you know, you think something's gonna go down, you can just push the power button and then it, it's ready to record. Okay. Oh, I guess it's recording already. Yeah, you just push it. 
push it once it records when you sh shut it off then the camera shuts off so yeah you don't have to go through the power you know the power up process you can just push the record button and it's pretty pretty quick i think it's not bad if i press it and it's on and then it'll start recording now it's recording i know so so you know within 10 seconds it'll, it'll start recording now it shuts off so that's that's pretty cool so yeah back to what i was saying like i i need to get more of these the magnet the magnetic mounts otherwise you got to unscrew it pull it off and then reattach it to something else that like the chest the chest mount pop that in there but the, align the holes uh, screw it on at least they give you these you know this big kind of easy to to use screw it's pretty ergonomic and then camera just pops in and then when it's on your chest then you can adjust it to whatever whatever angle you want so this chest mount i don't know i guess it's good for more action like uh running biking like mountain biking or something two activities that i don't do <laughs> so yeah the chest mount uh the selfie stick thingy so that's the thing you gotta just keep switching from one method to another and then you have to keep putting in the screw in and out so i got the selfie stick ready i got the little tripod ready chest chest mount the dashboard mount uh the head the head mount that's the same thing it goes on like that and this is the clip this is a pretty pretty strong clip but i can barely <coughs> i don't have the grip strength to really open it so it's it's pretty tight but um yeah this this is probably something that i would probably use um take it off the car put it on here and then clip it maybe to my backpack or something I'll probably be taking my backpack wherever I go. But yeah, this is a pretty, pretty strong clip. So yeah, this is the, ca the case that comes in. So I got my mounts that I think I would probably use. The rest of the stuff, um, like the, the bicycle handlebars, the helmet mount, uh, the, I don't know, the snorkeling or swimming. <laughs> mount that kind of stuff i probably won't use so it's just i just stuff it into that the webbing up there hopefully i'll be able to keep it separate but yeah i'm gonna go out and test some of these these mounts i don't know <laughs> that looks all kind of all kinds of wonky i don't know maybe there's a better way to, to mount this but uh you can see that can't really adjust it. I don't know, maybe do it this way. Something like that. Oh, okay. And this is a two handed job. All right, guys, <laughs> this is my test of the head head mount. I don't know. Can you see anything? 
Okay. So, I'm gonna go out here, play some pool. Let's see. Uh, I'll set up that chair out of the way. That chair out of the way. <laughs> Looks kind of darky, but. Uh, I get so worried about trying to control the, the cue ball goes that I miss the shots. So uh, that was just kind of the morning testing my Osmo, DJI Osmo Action 3 camera um, and all the mounting hardware. I'm kind of frustrated because the camera is great. I like everything about it, but I just have a difficult time getting the videos from my camera onto my iPhone. I don't know, for some reason I cannot do that. I've tried to follow the instructions like on the YouTube videos. I bought the cable, the US, USB-C with lightning connectors. That doesn't work. Uh, I can't do it through my app. I don't know. Um, if you guys know of how to get something from my camera to my <laughs> iPhone uh, efficiently and easily, let me know. But otherwise, that's all I got for you now. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. And Stripe wins. <laughs>